Nissan NV3500. A little bit of love today. Picked up this new LED headlight bulb uh, from Firehawk. Somebody recommended it on Facebook group I'm in for the Nissan van. And I really hate the lighting output of the Nissan. I'm driving it and it feels like uh, I sometimes don't even have my headlights on. Especially compared to my other cars, which all have a significantly better lighting. A little Christmassy out today. Nothing too wild. Uh, some people went kind of hardcore. <laughs> but uh, told the kids I'd put some lights up, so there we are. Anyways, do a quick comparison of the light output. Stock. And then I'll do something once uh, I put the LED light in and we can really see the difference. And here is stock headlights. Now I'm on an incline, so it looks better and brighter than it really is, but this can give me an idea of how it'll look compared to the new one. And of course, brights. And overall, uh, I do plan on also changing the blinker daytime running lights uh, bulbs, which I believe it's a combo bulb, and the fog lights. But this video, I'll just be doing the headlights, and it should be a single bulb that does the low beam and high beam as a single bulb. So you flip it, and it just changes the, uh, the output of that bulb. So it's not a du uh, dual bulb setup like uh, many older cars. So, uh, yeah, I'll well, go ahead and shut these lights off. Pop the hood, take a look. It should be pretty easy. And I'll just swap these bulbs and then we'll take a look if it's uh, improved or if it's a gimmick. So hopefully it's improved because they were about, I want to say 45 bucks or something like that with a, with a coupon code on Amazon. So go ahead and grab these uh, lights. Hoods up, got my light on here and it looks pretty simple here. Put the box over here. And here is the plug for the passenger side. And it's a little bit more difficult to get to the driver's side one, but still relatively accessible, especially compared to many cars. And here's the plug here. And then this is what you get in your Firehawk LED lighting box. And so you get the two fancy bulbs, hopefully they fit. And I believe I got correct size. Of course, the box isn't labeled. I don't remember which one I ordered. Um, might be an H13. No, it's a might be an H13. I'll I'll post the top here exactly what the bulb size is for the NV 3500. But first things first. And it looks like the clip just pulls back, which then lets you squeeze the thing and pull the plug out. And then to remove the bulb, usually it's just a twist. So we'll see if that is indeed correct. Yep, you have to turn it to the left. And here is the OEM bulb. Nothing fancy by any means, but with these bulbs or any bulbs, you don't want to touch the uh, glass portion and put your fingerprints, oil of your hands or anything on there as it may actually uh, damage the bulb. Now we'll go ahead and grab the new one and do a quick comparison. And it looks like the locking mechanisms are the same. And this has the plug built in that will then plug into the actual harness. I have the uh, replacement bulb here, and as you can see, this harness actually will plug into the harness that's here. Instead of with the OEM one, to actually plug directly into the bottom of the bulb. Uh, this does have significantly more electronics, it looks like, to power the LED versus a 
a much simpler halogen setup. I'm gonna go ahead and have to set the camera down and see if I can lock this into position. Um, so I'll need two hands for that just so I don't bang this in anything. And then we'll take a look at the output and compare the output of this one with the halogen that's still on the driver's side and uh, see if it is brighter or, uh, or, if, or, or if it has any, you know, doesn't work. So that's the big thing. And then hopefully another thing is it doesn't uh, burst into flames or anything crazy like that, which would be bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera down and then we'll be back here in a minute. I have the bulb in super tight fit. It's like four times harder to get that thing in than the OEM one. Hopefully it's in there solid. I mean, it, I guess it looks correct. It was easier for me to look with the light through this side to watch the little notches line up. And then of course you gotta make sure you plug in the connector and line up everything with that. Of course this would be easier if you're using both of your hands. I'm gonna need both hands for this. I'm gonna plug these in, make sure you snap this little tab back into place, and I'm gonna turn the lights on and see if it comes on and then how it looks compared to the other light. And back into the car, and we will see if the lights come on as we want. Okay, it does come on. And it does look brighter, at least whiter. And a comparison. So it is nice and white, came on immediately, no delay, no flicker or any weirdness. So yes, definitely I would say that's an improvement. I really won't know, you know, exactly for sure until I'm driving and as we are. Back at the uh, driver's side light, well, this will be the driver's side light. Thing to note, when putting these in, you have to really grab it up here because it actually, uh, let's see if I can hold this here. This thing rotates. I guess this gives it, uh, you can rotate this bulb around to, uh, I guess, disperse the light more effectively. Um, so you dial in exactly how you want it to, in, to sit in the housing to give you the best light dispersion. So this stuff, FYI on that uh, once you put it in you dial those in you probably want to match them and then see how the light uh, dispersion looks so I'm gonna hit Kind of hard to see here, but you do see the LED bulb, and I have a rotated horizontal. I'm not sure what that changes, but it feels like if you go to far right or far left of rotation, it feels looser in the housing. It kind of moves around a little bit, but if you go anywhere other than the far right or left, it seems to be tighter in the housing. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it horizontal and see what the beam looks like. I think it should disperse mostly the same because of the the lens design but uh, I guess we'll see and I do need to clean these things they are pretty dirty and I will zip tie maybe I don't know it doesn't really wobble around that much maybe when I do the uh, blinkers I'll zip tie everything together clean it up I'm gonna go ahead and put the hood down and then uh, we'll take a look
And one thing I didn't, I realized is I did not test high beam if that works or not. So okay. Oh yeah. So a quick walk around here. A definite significant uh, brightness improvement. You can tell the old headlights pretty much were the same color as these old fog halogens. And I mean, no comparison. I will be happy to get those fogs out. I will be putting some 3K uh, yellow fogs in here, but there'll be LED much brighter because these things are almost useless. And you can see it just lights up, it lights it up real nice. And then to do a quick walk around with the brights. I mean, it's a significant improvement. Now, question will be longevity and do these things last? So I'm gonna go ahead and get in the car. I'll drive it down to the mailbox and we'll see how it uh, looks casting down and up the hill because my mailbox is at the bottom of the hill. So go ahead and get the car rolling and then we'll, we'll see how it looks. One thing I did notice when I started the car with the lights already on, the lights do flicker a little bit, just a heads up. Let's see if it does it again. Yep, but they come right back up. It's not like a halogen sometimes, which have a long delay as the ballast warms up because these are LEDs and not, uh, not halogens, not our heads or whatever, sorry. All right, trying to drive down this hill one-handed just so we can see. And I mean, I definitely can see going down this hill quite nicely. The cast seems to be pretty good and even doesn't seem to be spilling upwards or, you know, blinding. Uh, let's see, at the bottom of the hill here. Nice output. Here's a nice straightaway here. And some people walking, so if I can't test my the brights. And then, of course, my mailbox. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my mail and go up the other side, and then we'll see uh, see how it looks going back up a hill. Just got my mail heading up the hill. That's this parallel road to my, my road, but uh, it's a similar incline. And as you can see, I mean, definitely no visibility issues. It's nice and bright and um, definitely liking the visibility improvement. Some of these roads back here get pretty dark and sometimes the, the OEM halogens I can't see anything. <laughs> if I, I sometimes accidentally turn my lights off and then back on because I think the lights are off. So overall, happy with the setup. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Feel free to like, subscribe, check out my other videos. I'm gonna be doing a couple more videos on my lighting upgrade on the van. And then we'll go from there.